there's a lot of different features, you know, throughout our county park system that are make us a very unique facility. And, and one of those is here at Horse Fork Creek Park. Obviously, standing here on the green belt, which wraps around the city of Owensboro and all the way around to the Joe Ford Nature Center. Uh, obviously, there are a lot of people who enjoy uh, the shaded trails uh, throughout the park system. And, and one here behind me is one of those unique features that make Davis County Parks a, a pretty special place. Uh, this is an elevated walking trail that is actually built through a uh, Corps of Engineers designated wetland. And essentially that wetland prevents us from being able to dig holes in the soil. Uh, areas like this are very important to be able to allow for drainage and, and uh, when the Corps of Engineers designates an area, you have to be very careful about what's constructed in it. And while visiting at a National Recreation and Park Association trade show, um, I was able to come up with a product uh, that allows us to be able to construct this trail. And it is a, a completely wooden trail uh, that's built on uh, steel uh, pans. Uh, each one of the feet from one end to the other uh, does not uh, affect the soil and, and actually sets on top of it. And many people throughout the course of the year enjoy this, uh, this elevated trail uh, that connects uh, basically from here over to the Brook Hill uh, subdivision at Horse Fork Creek and gives people an opportunity to be able to enjoy a lot of the, the flora and the, and the fauna and, the, and a lot of the wild animals that uh, are, are here at Horse Fork Creek Park. This wooden trail is wonderful, especially because it's shaded, and so we do a little forest bathing, such as it is, on that. Out on the other trail, and we no longer bicycle or uh, skate or do any of that that we see other people doing, but uh, we enjoy walking, we enjoy seeing our neighbors occasionally, and uh, made a few new friends on the trail. Uh, especially going around the, the lakes here is nice. Uh, we have fished both lakes, um, uh, bank fishing, um, but uh, we, we say just about every day that this is a, a blessing for us to be, to live nearby and to be able to take advantage of this. And this morning, we saw our first snake of the season. So <laughs> I hope that won't dissuade anybody because he was quickly getting out of our way. But it, it was interesting. We always see some kind of, uh, we saw a tiny baby turtle today. Um, there are lots of dragonflies around here. You can hear the birds in the background. Uh, it's just lovely. Many times of a morning or an evening, a quiet walk throughout the uh, elevated wooden trails here at Horse Fork Creek gives you that opportunity to be able to see, you know, again, not only the, the wildlife, uh, you know, but also those larger species uh, like the white-tailed deer and, and the wild turkeys uh, that are in our areas. Uh, so again, the trail's located here at Horse Fork Creek off of the Green Belt uh, on the back side of our retention basin and certainly just want to be able to invite the public to be able to come out and enjoy you know, everything that we have to offer uh, through Davis County Parks and Recreation.